Hello folks, and today we're going to format a 64 GB SD card, as you can see here, like a little micro SD card. Um, we're going to format it in FAT32, and you might have come across a few problems with trying to format larger cards or larger than 32 GB. So I've got a 32 GB SD card there, it's in this little, like the micro SD thingamajig which goes into the little card holder there. So I've got some games on here for the RG350 games thingy, but well, this is an RG350M, which has got like a metal case. Anyway, there's more about that in another video, but basically I just wanna upgrade the memory for the SD card, which goes in there, little micro SD card. So at present I've got 32, which is fine, and you can format the uh, 32 gigabyte cards relatively easy, well, easy, with Windows 10 because it's all built in but anything beyond 32 GB um, it won't handle so in this video we're gonna format the 64 GB in a FAT32 so here's our 64 GB which I've already showed you anyway so uh, we'll get on with that so I've got a card just a card reader here, you can use any card reader you like. So I've got this big one that like, obviously takes up to that familiar sized SD card that most of us are familiar with. Right, so I'll put the, uh, the, S, the micro SD card in there. I'll stick that into my computer. Like I say, you can get like uh, other card readers you like in a, like a USB form, but that's um, up to you and your preference on how you're gonna do that. Right, so we've done that. Right, so now we've got a website. Uh, this is uh, ridgecrop.co.uk. I'll put the link in the description below. You just have to download a little program and uh, Bob's your uncle. Right, so just click on this image. And to show that in folder, you can run that. That's just a habit of mine, I like show it in the folder and let us see what's going on. So you run that. Allow and remember make sure you're formatting what you want to format you don't want to format anything else so like important stuff like other drives otherwise uh, you could cause some uh, serious um, problems with the computer so this is all at your own risk know exactly what you're formatting on this particular one we've got like an F drive I know that it says there 63 GX fat I'll see if I can do it without a label. I tend to get a bit of OCD in these situations. It's like uh, if I go outside, lock the door, I'll come back about 10 times just to check if I've locked the door because I'm at that age. So I'm just gonna check and read that we got the right thing. Yes, F drive, F drive, F drive. So I go for the quick format. Right, so I went for the quick format, that was ultra quick and we'll have a look and see if that has formatted our card. So if I go to the F drive, which is our card, we can check to see if it's done FAT32 properties. FAT32 on the 64 GB card. So I've never done this before. So what I'm gonna do now is check to see if it's working. What I'm gonna do is transfer some files, just some test files into the card, and I can test that out on my little RG350 retro games console. Uh, just to check to see if that's working as we want to. So I was just transferring some files into this game system. Anybody that's interested in this games thing, I'll put some videos up on that um, shortly. I'll just sort of like get my head around the uh, filing system in that, uh, in the RG350M. So um, I know other people have bought these things, so I'm just feeling it out. Once I know what I'm doing properly, I'll put some more videos up about the th uh, RG350M. Although there's lots of videos on that. YouTube already of course. Right then, I'm waffling, let's uh, see if this works. So, I'm gonna take the memory card, oh hang on, I'll just check, I'll just double check. 
Make sure we got stuff on there. ROMs, PS, right. So this is PlayStation 1 games. We'll go here. PlayStation 1 Wipeout, the first Wipeout game. So sticking that in here, into this machine. Switch it on. Right then, so go into emulators, the PS emulator, Wipeout, so it's there. And start it up, and hopefully it should work. I don't know how well that's appearing on the screen there. There we go. Happy with that. So that is working. So that's a 64 GB card formatted to FAT32, and apparently this works on higher. Uh, gigabyte cards as well, so I'm probably going to upgrade this to 128 GB at some point. So there we are, I hope that's uh, helped folks out out there. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Five, four, Three, two, one, cool!